Nation Builder website pages are rich with tools to help you build a beautiful, robust, and interactive site. This video will help you learn the details behind your website's functionality to take full advantage of every page and make the site your own. Step 1. Create a page. To create a new page, go to the website section and select your site in the control panel. Then click on Add New Page. First, enter a page name and a slug. A slug uniquely identifies a page on your website. It is the end of the URL for a page. For example, www.howto.nationbuilder.com slash blog. The word blog after the slash is the slug for the blog page on the howto website. Slugs will always default to be the name that you designate for a page, and spaces will be marked by underscores. You can edit them to make them shorter and simpler. You want to do this so that they are easy to remember. When editing a web page, you can edit the slug from the settings area. Next, select a page type. Each page type comes with specific features. For example, donation pages allow you to link the page to your payment processor. If you're looking to create a page with no specific features, select the basic page type. Decide whether you would like this page to be in your top or supporter navigation. Click Create Page. Next, let's talk about page level navigation. Every page is a series of tabs that can be found in the page navigation. Each tab of the navigation serves a different purpose. Dashboard. This is the activity stream of your page. Any activity from your page will be listed. This includes when the page is published and any interactions visitors have with the page. Settings and action settings. Use these tabs to configure the primary settings of your page. Subpages. This is where you can access the subpages of the page. For example, your blog posts will be listed as subpages of your blog page. Followers. This tab lists every follower of your page. Any person can follow a page on your website. Followers will receive email notifications when comments are left on the page. Template and files. These two sections will help you customize your website. The template is where you can adjust the basic HTML of your page or insert a widget. Within files, you can upload PDFs or any images or documents. Preview and live. Click on preview to view what your page looks like before you publish it. Once the page is published, you'll have the option to view the live page. Step two, set up basic page settings. Every page has a set of basic settings. To edit these settings, go to the page name, settings, page settings. This is a full listing of every setting available on your basic pages. First, you can edit the name or slug of your page. Next, you can make any page a subpage of another page. Simply type the slug of the desired parent page in the provided text box. This allows you to quickly move pages between different sections of your site. For example, you can move event pages between various calendars. A title will be automatically created using the name of your page and the name of your website. You can edit it at any time. This is the title that will appear in search engines and in browser tabs. Enter the headline of your page in the headline text box. This will appear as the title of your page. Add a tag to your page to help categorize your pages. It will live at the bottom of the front facing page. Select an author for the page by clicking on the drop down menu. The default author is listed as the person who created the page. If the page is user submitted, select the appropriate checkbox. When you create a page, the default status of the page will be unlisted. You can change the status by selecting a status from the drop down menu or publishing the page. Unlisted. The page is not listed on your website but is accessible if you have the link. Any unlisted page will remain viewable in search engines if it had been previously published. Published. The page is published and on your site. Expired. This only applies to event pages. After the event has passed, the page will disappear from the site but is accessible in the control panel. Archived. The page is removed from your public site but is accessible via search. Deleted. Page is removed from your site and search but can be accessed in your control panel. Content can only be viewed when editing the page. Its URL will not work nor will preview mode. Rule violated. The page has been flagged as having violated a rule that needs to be reviewed. Hidden. Page is only accessible in your control panel and not available from your site or search. Content can be viewed in preview mode or when editing the page. Its URL will not work. When your page is published, a text box with the publication date will appear. You may adjust the date by typing in a new date and time. Limit who can see the page on your website based on a person's access level. A person can see all pages that are less restrictive than their own. So, a supporter with an active membership on their profile will be able to view pages open to members, logged in users, and anyone. Check one or both of the navigation checkboxes to include a page in your top navigation, supporter navigation, or both. Note that supporter navigation will only appear for people who are logged into your nation, meaning they already have activated an account. The show sidebar checkbox adjusts whether or not the sidebar appears on your page. 
Unchecking the box will also remove the support and navigation from selected pages. Check the Show Stream checkbox if you want to have an activity stream displaying profiles from your nation. The profiles shown will be those who took an action on your page and what action they took. Each supporter will have the option to not publish their action on the site. The setting only applies to action pages. Check the Allow Comments checkbox if you want to allow comments on your page. Don't forget to click Save Page to save your changes. Delete your page by clicking Delete Page. Action Pages An action page is a website page where your visitor is asked to take an action like sign a petition, make a donation, or RSVP to an event. Every action page has settings that are activated when a visitor takes an action on your site. To edit these settings, go to Page Name, Settings, Action Settings. There are a variety of action pages available, and each has similar settings, along with some that are unique to the page type. You can choose to ask for phone number and address, or require entry of phone number and address, or not ask for them at all by unchecking all boxes. You can automatically add tags to any person who takes an action on your website. For example, track attendance by adding the tag RSVP, charity drive, and event date to anyone who RSVPs on your event page. These tags are completely separate from page tags. Enter the name of the tag in the text box. Separate multiple tags with commas. Assign a point person when a visitor takes an action on your website. A point person is responsible for that visitor's relationship with your organization. For example, your volunteer coordinator would be an excellent point person for people who sign up on your volunteer website page. You can grant membership for action taken. You can add a supporter to a path. This will allow you to build and track relationships with your supporters. Check the Add to Path checkbox and add the appropriate information for path type, point person, step, step point person, and step due date. You can select what page a supporter lands on after they take an action on your website. This will create action chains for supporters to take multiple actions in a row. For example, when someone signs your petition, you can have them land on your donation page. Enter the slug of the page you want to have your supporters land on in the text box. You may also see some unique sign-up page settings. As mentioned before, each action page has its own unique settings.